Spring is in the air, baseball so just nice. a few weeks away. So let's talk about the fantasy top 10, our projected top 10, who we think is going to go in the first round in a 10 team league. Name card right here, Dustin right here. FST 2015 for FanDuel. If you want to get in any of those daily games, check them out. Use that promo code, get the same sign up as everywhere else. Brent, who's our number one pick and almost everyone's number one pick? I mean, unless your league has some crazy pitcher settings, which I am okay with our number two guy going number one, but you're going to go Mike Trout. The kid has been ridiculous, well, since the second time. He actually got called up, got dropped by a lot of people the first time. Many people don't remember that, especially if you're in keeper leagues. It's about a week, or about a month. Did you cut him in a league? I picked him up, and he was bad for about a month, and then I dropped him. And since then, he's been awesome. <laughs> so, he's clearly our number one player. Just reading some stats, 287. Average 36 bombs, 111, over 100 runs, over 100 RBIs, and he gets 16 bags. Clear cut, number one, as what they like to say, a five tool player. It was a redraft too. It's okay. Because it was late in the year anyway, to a degree, it was halfway through. I'm still good. I'm pretty sure they got a one half drop. <laughs> we have Clayton Kershaw at number two. A lot of people don't, a lot of people have him more towards the middle of the first round, but here's the thing. When you look at the rest of the first round, it's pretty much all outfielders and first basemen. Those are all deep. I know starting pitcher is extremely deep as well, but Kershaw is just 100% a league of his own. You know, if you pass on a, on a McCutcheon or a Stanton, you're going to be able to find a solid outfielder later. I just think the step up to where Kershaw is compared to the other starting pitcher that you'll be looking at, you know, in the second, third, fourth round, he's just unbelievable. I'm way more excited about Kershaw at number two than anybody else. Absolutely. All right, number three is McCutcheon. So to us, this is kind of the clear-cut top three. So if you want to if you want to take McCutcheon at number two, that's fine. Again, solid outfielder, great stats, couple years in a row. That's what we like to see. We like to see, you know, a few years of you being extremely solid. And you'll notice somebody that's not on this list, on a lot of other lists, the guy that Dustin hates. We can talk about that. God, you hate him. Uh, and he shouldn't be in the first, but Andrew McCutcheon certainly should. You're getting the average, you're getting the bags, you're getting power. Gotta love him across the board. Number four, we got Stanton. It seems like he's been around for a while, and he has been around for a while. He's still only 25 years old. It's ridiculous. We have not seen his ceiling yet, I don't believe, and I think he's one of, the, one of the only players in the league that has true 50 home run potential. I mean, I think that is, that's certainly not a crazy thing to say. I mean, last year, 69 extra base hits and 539 at-bats. The guy hits the ball harder, I think, than <laughs> anyone I've ever seen that except for maybe McGuire when he was all jacked up. But the guy just, he's so much fun to watch. He's great pick at number four. All right, at number five, we have a former number one overall, Miguel Cabrera. And we've kind of seen him all over the bo boards. I understand he's got some injury, a little bit of injury concerns with those bone spurs in his foot and those, you know, kind of, you know, so he's getting a little bit older. With that said, if you can snag him in the first round, it's just, for us, we couldn't, if we were in a draft, that's how we look at this top 10. We just couldn't pass on him. And especially if he gets third, that third base eligibility, it's even more ridiculous, which he does on a lot of sites. He's a very solid pixel. Don't be too scared about him. And especially if you're at the end of the first round and he's slipping, don't let him slip by. Jose Abreu is the next guy. I'm yeah! The biggest surprise of last year. No. Me. Brent, Brent loved him. I mean, I'll admit, I was, I wanted I to see. I knew he was going to do exactly that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wanted to see a year out of him before I was getting all into the hype. But I mean, the guy's good, and and he's not, he's not a rookie. I mean, he was, he has been playing baseball for a long time. He was he's su succeeding in other places, and now he's succeeding in the bigs. 76 extra base hits last year. I mean, that's just insane. You know, there's really no reason to think that he's not going to do it again. I mean, I know it's a scary price tag, but he is that good and the upside's that high, so I think he's definitely worthy of mid-first round. All right, then we have Paul Goldschmidt next on our list here. And what more can you ask out of him? He's batting 300. He's going to get you a ton of power. And what you also like, he's sneaky with the speed. He'll definitely first get... First base speed. He will get... He'll probably steal the most base out of any first baseman as well. And he'll have a good average, a lot of power. He's very, very safe across the board. And the next one we might get a little bit of flack for, but Jose Altuve. You know, when you look at the middle infield and, and just basically any position that isn't first base outfield or starting pitcher, 
there's really not that many guys to get excited about in the first couple of rounds, but I think Jose Altuve is one. True, you're gonna, you, the, the power numbers are not going to be anything that are exciting, but an amazing average and over 50 stolen bases for a second baseman. So you're filling that second base spot, getting a huge upside guy. You know, when you look at the other guys again, you're looking at outfielders, first base, you know, you fill that second base spot with, you know, one of the best, you know, middle infielders in the game in terms of just where he can give you a fantasy value. I mean, you got to love the speed. you got to love the average. It's a statement that I have no problem taking on two bases. Uh, and position scarcity, it, it's key. In fantasy baseball, it's important to build your team inside out to some degree as well, I feel. All right, not inside out. Jose Bautista. This guy... I mean, if Stanton hits it hard, this guy's number two in the league. I mean, he, when he, and he hits a ball and he crushes it, it's ridiculous. True, legit power here as well. I don't think he has a chance at 50, but 40 home runs is always a possibility for him. And he's just done it for the last couple years. There's no reason to think he won't continue to do that. And when you get to the end of the first round, again, it's, all right, do I take an outfielder? Do I go ahead and get, get another starting pitcher? Do I reach on maybe uh, Tulowitzki or something like that? I say you go with King Felix. You know, the guy has been just so consistent. One of the stats I really like about him is six straight years of at least 200 innings pitched and at least 200 strikeouts. I mean, that's all you really want for in your ace on your fantasy team. You want him to pitch 200 innings and you want him to get 200 strikeouts. Everything else is just a plus. You know, if he's doing both of those things, you know he's probably going to give you solid stats elsewhere. So, King Felix, consistent. I, I think it's nice to solidify your, your ace early in the draft if you can, if you want to go that route. So, end of the first, not a bad route. Go ahead, check out all of our other videos and rankings. The cheat sheet is online. So, go to fantasysmackdoc.com. It's on the right-hand side. Scroll down a little bit. You'll see the cheat sheet. That's got your top 150, all of your rankings. As always, this is Dustin Barkley, Brent Nanko, Fantasy Smack Talk. Ooh, mine is yeah, but you threw a little girly dart. Girly darts don't count. Doesn't matter. Girly darts don't count. Girly darts count. And he dropped the pen.